Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. Today is Thursday, December 10th. This is our daily NBA show that we do with Mike Brenner sitting right next to me. We've only got four games tonight, which is, uh, I have actually, uh, maybe I'll have a pick you know, by tip-off, but I have nothing as of right now. Mike, do you have okay. anything for tonight? I do. I like the Oklahoma City Thunder, Pete. I like ah, the direction okay. they're going, and I like them yeah. on the first half. It's minus four, and I just think uh, Atlanta's not going to be able to keep up with them. I think they're starting to gel, and Donovan's doing his job with this team. So I'm all over it, and last night we had a big win. It was a tight one, but guess what? A W is a W. So tonight, jump on board. Thunder minus four on the first half. That's what I love. We also have uh, the Knicks against Sacramento. That's interesting. I did a preview of this game with uh, Teddy Covers. You know yeah. Teddy Covers? Sure do. Been real... following a long time. Yes, yes. Yeah. He likes he likes Sacramento. I said it's a bounce back spot for the Knicks. He said, "Yep, they're what not." What is that good line? Is that minus six? Or minus five? six Ooh. feels like feels like a, like a lot of points to be giving, but the Knicks are on a back to back, and uh, you know Teddy Covers is not a believer in the Knicks. He likes Sacramento minus six. What do you he think about that? I like what Teddy's thinking. That team's yes. coming together. You know what's happened? George Carl has learned to gel with DeMarcus Cousins and with Rondo. That's the unseen weapon here. I like that play, and if Teddy's jumping on that, hey, that's not that's not a bad play. I'm sitting back because I'm putting everything on one game, but. Sacramento in the future, look out. Let's you know what else he said? He said that he doesn't like the Bulls going forward. He says that they're, uh, you know, we previewed their game last night, and he, yeah. he liked the Bulls a little bit, and then they wound up losing barely ATS. But, uh, you know, tonight they're at home against the Clippers, just a one-and-a-half point uh, underdog, four straight ATS losses for the Bulls. And as we know, the uh, the Clippers are playing better now, right? They're 6-1 and one AT, uh, six and one straight up over the last seven, 3-2-2 two and two ATS over the last seven, which is not phenomenal, but it's not bad. Yeah. Maybe the Clippers minus one-and-a-half against they the might. Bulls. They might, and uh, I'll put a, I'll put a lean on that. I won't make it a mm -hmm. pick, but I'll put a lean to take the Clippers. If I'm correct, they've lost two now home games in a row. The Bulls, Fred Hoiberg, it's going to take time. And uh, shit, I got a flight to catch. I got to get out of here, bro. All right, all we got respect. it. OKC minus four on the opening line. Teddy <laughs> covers minus six on uh, on Sacramento. Thanks so much, Mike. Talk to you tomorrow. All right, Pete. Thank you.